Hello, hello. Bill Moon Bene, beautiful, blessed people. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to my Zen Wellness space. It's your Zen Wellness mama, Christine here, your cosmic doula, your intuitive human design friend, <laughs> partner, um, all of the things, all of the things. I hope you all have been well. Popping in on a Tuesday. I used to do these back in the day where I would come and give human design messages for oracle messages for each human design type. And so I know I started some of the lunar weekly energies um, a couple of weeks ago. I took a break for Juneteenth and I felt called to come back and switch it up a bit and a little bit about me if you don't know completely mutable like most of my chart is mutable uh gemini sun virgo moon and rising manifesting generator so i might say things and a lot of the things might change but um i'm here today my intention today is to share some of the lunar vibes of the week some of the intuitive cosmic astrology vibes and then i'll pull some cards mercury just entered into cancer mercury is my ruling planet as a virgo moon and rise as a virgo moon and rising and a gemini sun so i'm ruled by mercury all the way but um my intention today mercury just entered into cancer and so i thought it would be cool to um pull some cards based on each human design type for the mercury and cancer um transition or transit so that's my intention for today so come on in i'm going live so i'll pull general overall energies for each human design type and then um later on throughout the week i'll come out with um a full in-depth um uh, human design oracle message for the mercury into cancer uh, transit that we're all experiencing so if you want to look at some kind of oracle messages uh, for your human design type or based on your human design type for the mercury and cancer come on in make sure that you're subscribed to my youtube channel you can find me there on zen wellness space at youtube.com and i'll be using i'm very excited i'm going to be using uh, mercury and cancer this deck definitely gives me mercury and cancer vibes this is my mother tarot deck and then i will also be um using this as a general overall message today and then i'll be going a little bit deeper with my mermaid tarot deck and some other decks that i have and y'all this pregnancy tarot deck tarot for pregnancy just came in a couple of weeks ago and oh my goodness so much has already been downloaded and manifested to me so i'm gonna pull some of these cards as well so make sure that you're subscribed for the full in-depth um mercury and cancer oracle message there but let's talk about this week how are y'all feeling how are y'all feeling first of all full disclosure for your girl i have been ever since friday i have been dealing with this intense like headache i it seems like an sinus <laughs> i was googling um um, based on my symptoms and it said like a sinus headache or a tension headache and it's just like all here just like a headache just like super 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 um super like heavy tension like clogged like ugh, like there needs to be flow needs to be released and it's not surprising how are y'all feeling post gemini season gemini is airy gemini is in the head gemini rules the nervous nervous system right and so with all of that being said, I feel like there's so much, and I have a huge stellium in Gemini, my MC, my Mercury, my Chiron, my um, Sun, all is in Gemini. So I feel there has been um, a Mercury transiting through or passing through all of my personal planets. I feel like has given me so much data, and so much information, so many downloads that it's just like... So I'm very excited for this Mercury and Cancer season to um, get into my body, to let it flow, to um, instead of all the thoughts being in the air, to kind of flow with it, um, tune into my feelings and my intuition. So 
So full disclosure, if I seem a little off, I'm still kind of dealing with that tension headache. And shout out to my dear friend Carolyn with Acknowledge Wellness. She gave me some moxa treatment because a lot of, I've been feeling a lot of, um, like tenderness in my eyes as well like especially my third eye chakra and my left eye and she did this wonderful moxa treatment for my eyes i'll make sure that i post some um pictures of it in my stories today if you want to check that out as well as some acupuncture to help some of that flow in my body so big shout outs to her if you're in the seattle area and you're needing some energetic healing some reiki some acupuncture moxa treatment treatment for your eyes I highly recommend checking her out so thank you friend for taking such good care of me yesterday i'm feeling good i'm feeling better did some spiritual baths so energetically cleansed to come and share with you all the weekly intuitive cosmic vibes for the week. So starting off this week, we are we were in uh, the first quarter moon. So the first quarter moon really asks us to kind of just really take in stock, take in stock basically what we planted during the new moon cycle. Really, okay, what does this mean for us? Like where do I need to take action? What do I need to do? Like really getting your things into place right now. And the moon was in Libra. So Libra is the sign of, you know, the scale. So balancing that out, it is an air sign. So maybe some insights or intellect might have come in, um, but really making sure with the moon in Libra, like processing the thoughts and really tuning into our body as well. Like um, Libra is also ruled by Venus. So body like taking care of your body like making sure like doing a new beauty treatment or or things like that having conversation with community um as well so some of those are some of the great um things to do for the lunar vibes and we're in this um libra new moon first quarter moon until wednesday and then wednesday we're going to be going into the scorpio moon which i wrote like really sit with the truth of what was coming up like now that we've taken a pause and really like took a like broaden our like broaden our perspective and really kind of see the big picture of what's going on and where we need to take action the scorpio um, moon really gets us to get dive deep and to go deep and um, to get to the real truth of what all of this might mean. So what has come up and so with the waxing full with the waxing moon leading to the full moon that we have coming up over the weekend, the full moon in Capricorn what is the truth that's asking to come up now scorpio is a water sign so very intuitive like lean into your intuition at this time what is your intuition telling you about the truth of the matter of what might be bubbling up to the surface um i wrote here like the seven of pentacles energy um so you know like when the seven of pentacles like you're looking at all the fruits you know something is about to bloom and you're just like kind of waiting and just looking at all that you've done so that's what the scorpio um moon was giving to me um when I was writing my notes for this lunar cycle is kind of where like from from looking at our stocks right from the seven of pentacles again I'm thinking about so looking at the plants and all that we've harvested what truth is coming up for us what is working on being illuminated that would possibly be illuminated during the full moon great time to tap into some spiritual practices um, maybe pull out some tarot cards during the scorpio new moon to help you get to the truth um, again scorpio is kind of like that sexual energy and this week alone just gives very sex sexy vibes so lean into that sexual side of you um, this week and then on Friday we have the Sag moon um, Sag moon is a very optimistic time so get out there flirt go with friends travel explore take a new adventure explore a new adventure learn something new um, about yourself or about a situation or something that you're curious about and then we're going to lead into the Capricorn super moon so that's the lunar energies of the week and um the, earlier this week on Monday we had the Mars um square with Uranus and interestingly enough for me personally um 
your Mercury is opposing Uranus. And I heard, and I was reading and studying on, on this transit, this Mercury opposing Uranus, you know, Mercury being the sign of thoughts, you know, processing data and Uranus being like that electricity, like invoking change. Those being in the opposite is asking like new insights and new downloads are definitely coming to me. And it was interesting because they said it might also cause some headaches. So um uranus energy is definitely strong this week and we also had mercury moving into cancer which asks us to while we're thinking make sure that we process it through the body feel it in the body no matter what comes up what data comes up how does that feel in our body um this gives us a chance to process and feel the information that came up for us during Gemini season. Where are we now? What's my story now? What is in Cancer rules the fourth house on the IC line? So with my current story, how does that relate to my family story? And, um, you know, immediate, distant ancestry. How does the story that you kind of narrated for yourself during Gemini season, once you're in Cancer season, Mercury is in Cancer, how is that feeling in the body? How how are we and what is our story with our ancestral lineage during this time? What do we need to clean out and process? Um, so that was the energies of Monday, Tuesday. We have, Mer or today, we have Mercury sextiling um, the North Node. So it's a great thing. It's a great time. Again, that communication, that data is in a beautiful harmony with our destiny. So we might get some insights or downloads um, in regards to um, the destiny or our purpose uh, today. And then Wednesday, we have the Sun trining with um Saturn and Venus in a conjunction with Lilith. So the sun trining with Saturn is really stable. So it's an opportunity um, for us, you know, the sun vitality shining on something to help us Saturn to get discipline or to find boundaries as well is kind of what was coming up for me intuitively. So it gives us stability to manage some of the responsibilities and the work that we have, maybe some of the insights and the downloads that came during Gemini season. This is a really beautiful transit for us us to really take advantage of to get grounded and to um, see maybe the processes and what's kind of being shown to us to stabilize and to ground more um, to help us approach the things that we want to do in our lives and with Venus um, conjoining with Lilith um, you know that really ask us to tap into our sexual energy. Like I said, this week is a very sexy week. So inviting us to tap into our sexual energy. Like what is that beauty? Like how can I, you know, exude beauty um, to make me feel sexy, you know, to use some of that sexual power to your advantage. Um, and it can awaken that raw sexual energy inside of you. Um, so great opportunity to work with that energy. Um, and Thursday we have um, Venus in a trine with Chiron. Um, and I wrote here using I statements in healing your self-worth. Venus is like beauty aesthetics, you know, on what we value, what we value about ourselves. And maybe there have been some, there needs to be some healing in regards to how you see yourself, how you view yourself and how you view your own beauty and your own value. So this, um, trying with Chiron again trying is a helpful aspect that really helps us out so it helps us move through any trauma that we had about our own values and how we felt and how we saw in our perceptions of ourselves so this is a beautiful opportunity um to work with or beautiful transit to work with um you know really time to write some beautiful I statements about yourself, really reflect on um, your journey and, and really big yourself up, write some affirmations, do what you need to do. Venus trying in Chiron is helping us heal that um, inner value within ourselves, that inner beauty within ourselves. So Thursday is a great day to create some affirmations, to write a couple of things that you love about yourself. Um, so really, really, really take that um, transit to invent. I love, um, is there not maybe necessarily the easiest transit, but I do love a Chiron transit transit especially a trine chiron transit because it presents an opportunity for me to work through some healing and then friday we have mercury 
um, trining Saturn that helps us get discipline. And then we have the Neptune retrograde. Um, and so, yeah, that's a whole... <laughs> the whole thing in itself but mercury trining um saturn and then we have the mercury cassini um during the weekend which is beautiful it's just a spotlight mercury spotlighting um the sun is spotlighting mercury so like all the data and the processing and and all of that so great opportunity to work with those um yeah mercury sign trining saturn is great for um processing information and getting discipline and getting to maybe some of the things that you needed to do this is really um saturn gives us the support and the stability to get done what we need to do so um but with the neptune retrograde in pisces before you do those things an invitation to tune into your t intuition tune into what's coming out around you when i think of neptune it's like that deep spiritual um experience right so walk out in nature let's see if you can get some signs some synchronicities in nature maybe go to the ocean listen to the waves before you go to the library and get disciplined and do that mars trying saturn work right so opportunity to work with uh, some of those energies and like I said, we have the sun conjoining Mercury. So this is a, a time where everything clicks, right? Everything clicks for you and you realize things, some insights. Now it's time to take action on what's clicking and what kind of came up for us during the week, what we felt in our bodies. Now what do we want to do about it? We're going to take action. We're going to take action. Use this opportunity. Use this beautiful solar um, invitation to take action. Um, so yeah, that is the general vibe, the general cosmic vibes of the moment. And what I'll do, like I said, when Mercury enters into Cancer, I just wanted to pull some cards for each human design type based on each human design type. And I'll go into the full um, what Mercury and Cancer means on my YouTube channel, as well as an in-depth um, message on um the Mercury and Cancer and what that means for your specific human design type. If you don't know what human design is, you can go to my YouTube channel. I have lots of videos, um, exp not lots of videos, let me <laughs> not say that, but I do have a video um, that explains um, a little bit about human design and um, you can go to mybodygraph.com, look up your human design type and from there, uh, and I'll make sure that I put the descriptions in the description how and where you can pull your human design chart so we'll pull a card for our manifestors our manifestors so manifestors for you you got the six of cups the six of cups the six of cups and for so for my manifestors what i'm getting for you for this mercury and cancer is to yeah just really f feel into the body feel into the body you know the sixes in the tarot kind of relates to that's so interesting because yeah six of cups like really relates to like working with either your past self or um community working with working in harmony with other people so what I'm getting with this is while you're flowing and processing some of the data and some of the information while Mercury is in Cancer, maybe share some of those thoughts um, with your community. Share what's coming up in with those in your communities, those that you trust, those that you trust, and they can help you maybe fill your cup back up and where there was lack um, before. So really leaning into your community at this time, my manifestors, is really what I'm getting with this Six of um, Cups card. So we'll go more into that on um, the YouTube um, channel um, and we'll pull some cards for that. But that's the general overall message um, energy that we're getting for our manifestors. And so for our generators, generators, you got the chariot, you got the chariot. So during this mercury in cancer transit my generators where where are you asking to kind of like take a pause before you actually go before you actually go and move forward and do the thing like really check in with your body tune into um 
your soul <laughs> before you take that next step to go right or to go left, right? Really, and I see her here. She's a beautiful mermaid with an orca, orca on her lap and rainbows at the side, just really pausing before she goes right back into the ocean, right? So based off of what was coming for you during this uh, Gemini season, um, while Mercury was in Gemini, really tuning into your body, like really saying, okay, before I go, before I generate and do the next step or create this next thing, what is coming up for me in my body? Where can I, where do I need to take a pause? What do I need to reflect on? What emotions do I need to feel before I do move forward to that, towards that next thing, towards generating that next thing? So that's what's coming up for my generators. For my manifesting generators, I have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. And so for the Three of Pentacles for my manifesting generators and Mercury and Cancer, it's really asking us at this time to collaborate. Collaborate and to gather some of the resources, some of the knowledge that you have. Share those with your community and really tune in to um, the feelings of the community. Like ask your community like how they feel about different things that might have been coming up and see where you can partner and work together with other people to build a new um, kind of way like even here through here I see like a new doorway a new portal to create a new portal a new way of thinking for you a new way of thinking and feeling so my manifesting generator is an opportunity to work with others to build um, towards something new um, that might be coming your way that's beautiful that's beautiful. And for my projectors, the card for you is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Okay. Things are, I feel like, Eight of Wands traditionally means like sudden insight. Things are happening fast, you know, like a lot. So you might be getting a lot of information or a lot of things might be, you know, happening fast or around you during this time. But in this particular Eight of Wands, she's really tending to, and what I'm seeing, she's tending to, Hopefully you can see this. She's tending to something, creating something, right? Creating something that's really grounding for her um, right now. So what I'm intuitively getting is to find a passion project during this Mercury and Cancer transit. Find a passion project that you can really tune into that can help you ground during this time while everything is moving so fast to help you like really sit down and like take a breath. It's like, okay, let me just work and crochet on this little thing. I know things are moving fast, but this gives me a moment of pause um, with the Eight of Wands protector. So really finding some a mindful moment to pause while things might be moving fast or things might be moving fast. That moment of pause can be an opportunity for you to create something beautiful um, during this Mercury in Cancer transit. And for my dear reflectors, ooh, for my dear reflectors, you got the sun. You got the sun. So something is illuminating in, in you now. Something is blooming. Something is blossoming. Really tune into during this Mercury in Cancer transit. Really tune into joy and happiness and the things that bring you joy and vitality at this time because yeah you're you're really being shown upon right now like a, a spotlight is really on you right now um so during this mercury and cancer you know and for you um you know you're asked to wait kind of like a lunar cycle right so um with this sun card appearing, I'm also seeing the lunar cycle. So maybe reflecting back on your lunar cycles, seeing um, some opportunities of where you can bring in more fun, where you could have maybe brought in more fun. And as we're building towards this full moon, where can you maybe set some new intentions to have some more fun or some bring some more vitality and happiness into your life right now? Because I feel like there have been things that maybe were surrounding you or that were around you that were maybe trying to penetrate your energy um, at this time. But really take stock of your environment and really make sure that you surround yourself with the things that bring you joy and that light you up so that the things that are penetrating that are trying to penetrate you right now are the things that will bring you joy and that will spark some some light within you um some vitality within you right now 
my dear um, reflectors. Yeah, taking time to meditate, to pause, and to really think about those things that bring you joy right now and surrounding your aura and surrounding your bubble um, with those things that bring you joy right now. Um, my reflectors so yeah that's basically the general energy for each human design type like i said we're going deep i have some with the tarot and gets a little bit of deeper messages with the mermaid tarot and the tarot pregnancy and then even if you have a question that you want to ask the angels during this time during this mercury and cancer transit we'll be pulling some angel answer cards as well as some angel therapy cards i'll leave you all with so i'm excited to um channel that reading for you all so i'll meet you all on youtube i hope you all have a beautiful beautiful sexy um week and tune into your body this week really sit with the emotions and as things are coming up this week really tune and take care of your body drink more water um, this week, um, bring in some more fruits and some more juices, some more nutrition. Um, I'm just really hearing an emphasis on taking care of your body, so your mind and your soul and your spirit. So I'm sending you all so much love. You know where to reach me. Links are in the bio um, if you need anything. And I'll catch y'all next time. Have a beautiful week.